Good afternoon. Welcome to the home office. I think you know these lovely gentlemen, Aiden, Nick. Um, we are happy to uh, be able to come and say hello to all our wonderful forever friends and family all around the world. And thank you for joining us today. Um, I would say, guys, it's not a happy announcement that yeah. we have to make, but a necessary one. And um, as everybody knows, uh, all around the world, there's been a world crisis going on in the last month or so. And um, with the um, coronavirus uh, spreading like it is, um, we want you to know we've spent a lot of time here in this room at this table discussing and monitoring and um, hoping that the situation gets better. And um, unfortunately, um, it seems like it's continuing to spread and um, infecting more people. And, um, you know, our hearts go out to, to anyone that has been affected by this virus. And uh, we hope you're taking care of yourself. You're getting the medical treatment necessary and it's something not to take lightly for sure um, if you're feeling bad you're feeling sick please go see your doctor immediately or, or get some medical assistance and don't let it drag on for a long time i think that's the key is to uh, get some uh, assist medical assistance early and and make sure you're on top of it um, but, you know, we do care uh, extremely for, you know, it's our forever family and um, family members you care for extremely. And so we want to make sure uh, we're doing the right thing. This has been a, an extremely difficult decision for all of us. And um, but in the end, we wanted to do the right thing and um, for to keep us all safe. So. Um, we asked you to come on today to let you know that uh, because of this uh, coronavirus and what's going on with it, we want to not create a situation where we could possibly, um, you know, ask a lot of people from all parts of the world to come and get together. And then unfortunately, um, someone spreads it to someone else and then it goes from there and so we want to avoid that and keep all of you healthy and safe and your family and your friends and everybody so we've decided that uh, for the 2020 global rally in Sydney uh, we were going to we're going to have to cancel it for this year um, and it breaks our heart because I know we all were looking forward to go to go and visit Sydney and it's such a beautiful place and uh, a wonderful uh, wonderful country um, but the great news is Nick and I, I, and since you're the guy like having to do all the details of this whole thing right <laughs> why don't you let them know um what we're thinking about because we don't want to lose the opportunity to go visit sydney right i think it's fair to say that probably sydney has been our most popular destination uh, announcement for the global rally everybody wants to go there as greg said it's a beautiful place so we're very excited to announce on the positive side of things that the global rally in 2021 will be in sydney so you'll all get the chance, uh, if you qualify or if you attend, uh, to do uh, the same activities, visit the Sydney, uh, visit uh, uh, Australia and Sydney, see the people, see the culture, see the animals, um, and really take advantage of that trip. So make that your goal uh, right now. Um, we're announcing it a little bit earlier than usual, uh, so you've got about 10 months, uh, 9 or 10 months to make sure that you qualify for next year. Awesome. I mean, we're going to Sydney. Right. Had, you've never been. No, never and here you are, either. just uh, almost on the verge going. And, yeah. But we're going to get there, Aiden. Um, We've got to cancel our flights. <laughs> I know. It's terrible. Just let, let everybody know maybe a little bit about, you know, if I'm a qualifier, what does this mean to me um, for this year's rally? Excellent. So I just want to reiterate really quick the... Uh, Greg's comments about how difficult this decision was to make. Um, but out of an abundance of caution, we decided that it was the best thing to do. Often the best thing to do is not the easiest thing to do. And I, I know that the 
The boss has had a lot of sleepless nights if we literally argued and wrestled over this decision about what was best. So now we've made the decision, we're excited about going forward. We invite each one of you to really look at your business and how you can move it a little bit more active in the online space right now uh, and to be active from a remote um, motivational point of view. With that in mind, Global Rally 2020 is canceled as far as our trip to go to Sydney, but we're very excited to announce on exactly the same day, the Friday that we're going to have the rally, we will have a forever online global experience that we will, uh, this, was, this is going to be a game changer. It's going to be uh, broadcast globally, probably from the home office or a studio locally here, and we will still do some recognitions. We will do chairman's bonus announcements, so you will still get your bonus. Uh, you'll get your money on the same day, the Monday morning this after is, the rally. This is May 1st you're talking about, right? Is that the date? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you'll Friday, May 1st, uh -huh. and we'll, we'll do so, the announcement. Two, three, four. The money will be in the bank Monday. So those that are worried about your check, it's still coming. <laughs> we will still have announcement. Uh, we invite all of you to look at doing watch parties that, that conform with the announcements in your country. Um, we're, we'll we'll be obviously be making more announcements about that as we learn more about it ourselves. Uh, but it's going to be a great celebration of your business. And yes, you will still get your big check. We will make sure you get your big check. And on that day, we're also going to be announcing new products yes. that's going to be coming yep. to you. That's going to be very exciting. So um, that's going to be an exciting day. Um, Nick, you have some pretty cool ideas about how that's going to happen. So yep. you want to share that? Well, uh, it's still in the early phase, obviously, but <laughs> we've, we've got a thought around maybe there's a couple of locations. Uh, so. You, I don't know, like Aidan said, we're not quite sure. Maybe at the home office, maybe checks presented from Rex's office, that type of thing. Or we might use, use studios, but it will be very dynamic. We're gonna use videos, maybe a two or three hour broadcast, some trainings, uh, the new product. So something very different, but something to get excited about and maybe work with your teams. We also have some ideas to make it interactive. So maybe we're gonna do some social competitions with you as they're happening uh, to really get the excitement going. So, you know, you look at a glass and it's either half full or half empty, right? You know, and this is, this is life experience. Yeah. We, we preach all the time, you gotta look at situations in a positive manner. And here we are confronted with a very difficult situation that we could cry over it, we could be super disappointed over it, or we could look at what the positive is about yeah. it and go with the positive route. And so. Um, we we will make the best of it, and it will be an exciting day on May first. Now, tell Nick, tell the the people who would that have qualified for the Sydney trip, yeah. what's being offered to them? Okay, so um, uh, there are, there are three options for you guys if you're qualifiers. Uh, the first one is uh, you can take a payoff uh, in lieu of the trip as compensation for the trip, and that's going to amount to fifteen hundred US dollars plus the rally gift money that you would have received on that card, um, Visa card, if you'd gone to the country. Depending on the level that you yeah. qualify. So obviously the amount, if you're a 1.5K, goes a little bit higher if you're 2.5, a little bit higher if you're 5K, etc. cetera. Um, and off, they'll get the card? No, that will be deposited into your account by your country office. Perfect, uh, makes it easy. At that time. Uh, option two you have um, is to come and join us in Pattaya. Uh, at the end of the year. What? So if you still, <laughs> wow. This is news to Greg. <laughs> <laughs> what if a good you, idea. A trip to Thailand, right. not Australia, but Thailand. Right. So if you still want to enjoy international travel with Forever, uh, there's an opportunity to come and join us there. Now, there will potentially, we're still looking at the numbers, all this news is very new to us, so uh, there may be a limit on how many people can come to Pattaya, uh, but it will be a few hundred, um, so look out for that and try and make your decision as to what And that's going to be in December, right? Yes, early December. I've not quite got the dates in my mind, but the beginning of December and all that information will be available. So I can just kind of transfer my Global Rally trip yep. instead of going to Australia. Yep. I can experience the Global Rally online event, all those things, and still get yep. a trip Thailand. to Thailand at the end of the year. Yeah. Hey. So as long as Nick can make it work, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> that glass is getting fuller and fuller. Right. right. And then the third option we have is if you've already booked your uh, flight to Australia and it's a non-refundable ticket, um, then uh, you can take advantage of still going to Sydney around the rally dates 
Um, unfortunately, obviously we've had to make cancellations with the hotel, so the, the accommodation and additional expenses would be on your own, but if you want to take advantage of the flight that's already booked, um, then you can do that. Uh, you won't get the compensation of the $1,500, but you still would get your rally gift money that you would have earned with the trip. So there's three options right there. The details of that your country offices have right now, uh, and the details are on our landing page, the Global Rally landing page, which we're gonna post in the comments right now. So you can click onto that link and see all the frequently asked questions. Now, Nick, I'm sure there's some of them out there watching right now are, are sore to Sydney qualifiers. Explain to them what's gonna happen. Okay, so if you're sore to Sydney qualifiers and you've already confirmed to attend the rally, um, obviously there'll be, um, uh, uh, you'll have uh, your accommodation money that was allocated and that was either $300 or $450 depending on your level. You will still receive that as a, as a payout uh, in lieu of the trip. And then if your flight was already booked, um, then Forever is gonna contribute up to $250 to the either the refund or the change fee to make those alterations for those flights. And actually, super generous I think by the company is if you're a non-qualifier, that same change or rebooking fee uh, for the rally of up to $250, the company will honor um, that in order to support you for the commitment that you've made to join us. And, and if, sorry, and if I'm yeah. a non-qualifier yeah. and I purchased a ticket to go to the rally, mm -hmm. what happens? 100% refunds on the, the purchasing of the ticket. So that will start to happen this week uh, by the system that we've got in Australia. That will automatically happen if you're a non-qualifier. You don't need to do anything. The money will go back into the uh, card or account that you use to purchase the ticket. That's quite a generous package of uh, compensation. So right. it, when I hear it again, it, it, it really adds up, you know, and the, and the option of, of Thailand. And we know it doesn't replace the global rally experience. Of course it does. We all want to be there. Our flights are booked, our experiences, we'd love to be with you. But I, I think that the company's done a very good job and Nick and his team are doing a good job trying to manage moving rallies and you know and all this and, and we know this question's probably going on in your mind about what's going to happen um with the boat in uh, with the ship and all that kind of stuff for eagle man for eagle manager right now let's be honest we don't know we're watching this very closely we've got people involved throughout the world that are advising us and and we're we're trying to make the best decisions based on the data that we have right now and we'll move forward with that um, and we'll let you know as soon as a decision is made on that. But currently, right now, no decision has been made, and, and we're marching forward as, as, as normal at the moment. So, Well, there's a lot of details. I'm sure there's questions we haven't answered. Sure. Where can I go to review what we've already gone over and find out a little more information? Okay. Once again, the landing page, uh, the Global Rally landing page, many of you know that. It's posted in the comments of this live broadcast right now that details everything that we have so far. And uh, first and foremost, uh, your country office. Um, they're fully aware of the situation. They've got the FAQs as well, so filter through your questions uh, to them. And yeah, there may be some gaps. This has all happened pretty, we've been thinking about this for a couple of weeks. It's been a long, hard decision, but we're still piecing together some of the details. So forgive us if there's some gaps, but we'll uh, we'll make the best of it. There's not a lot of gaps. No. <laughs> Appreciate again you and your team for all you're doing. Thank you, Aiden. Given this uh, situation we're in around the world, we're all in it together. Yeah, Isn't that interesting? Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, every every day there's new countries being added to the list, and so we're really all in this together. What can we do to keep ourselves safe? Mm -hmm. This is a really good question because. Um, a lot of questions are coming to us about local meetings, success days in your countries. Our advice to you for that is to uh, work closely with your country offices. We've asked each of the country offices to make decisions based on the advice that they're getting locally. We can't make that global decision for all of your meetings, but we do encourage you to follow the basic rules that all of your authorities are giving you, and that is simple hygiene rules, washing your hands multiple times, using hand sanitizer. Um, staying away from hugs, kisses, handshakes, those kind of things in the meantime. All this may sound a bit alarmist, but at least if we can do our bit to stop the spread, um, I think that's a positive thing. 
We're not worried about it. We're not panicking about it. We know it has an effect in your lives. And for those of you that the income has been affected and jobs have been affected by this, uh, we're mindful of you and we're hopeful for a quick resolution. But I think if all of us were just a little bit more cautious about how we are around and, and when we're in crowds and stuff, I think that we could do a little bit to help. So for your um, success days, stay close to your country managers. For your own personal meetings, we just invite you to follow those basic rules keeping your hands clean, uh, using hand sanitizer, maybe fist bumping, fist bumping um, instead of a good hug and a kiss, like which is the forever way. I got a text the other day that says, Aiden, what are we going to do? It's our culture. This is just a temporary blip. This isn't going to last forever. This isn't going to rewire, rechange forever. <laughs> this is just a blip. And we just mindful that we want to be um, part of the solution and not part of the problem. So we encourage you to, to behave that way. Also, it's a focus on life is that we have these amazing tools now. And this may be the, the kick. 360. Yeah, the, the kick that you need to focus a little bit more on improving your online capacity. We're still communicating with thousands of you right now, completely free of charge in every nation in the world. You can take advantage of that kind of technology too. Find out a little bit about, more about FOP 360, the new relaunch that just happened. Get a look at that, play with that, and see how you can use that to motivate and stimulate your business. We're starting to see some great growth around the world popping up, and we don't want this to, to negatively impact it. The other thing, and you've got to be careful not to make medical claims in this, but we all know that the stronger our immune system, the better able we are to combat all of the disease and, and issues that we face around the world. Our products assist with that. Our products help us to become stronger and, and um, uh, uh, more able to fight off infection. Careful not to make any medical claims as you talk about that, but I know in my own life, that's something that I'm definitely focusing on is making sure that I'm keeping constant with my uh, product consumption to assist me. I remember last global rally in Stockholm, I said drink at 3.30 and an RG yeah. every day. I'm doing it double. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna do it twice a day now. <laughs> you know, you know, it won't hurt you. It won't hurt you. <laughs> And use the hand sanitizer, the hand soap. We're working hard on making sure there's supply for you mm -hmm. in your countries and making sure you can use this as an opportunity to make sure all your friends and family are using what they need to to keep that stuff away from them. So uh, just know that we have made this decision really based on the welfare of you, uh, the best for you and trying to protect you. And that's what we do here at Forever. We truly do care about you guys. You are our family members. We want the very best, not just in a business sense, but in every sense. So um, let's look at this as positively as we can. Make your decisions of these options that you have now, um, if you are a qualifier, and um, let's move forward, and together we're going to change the world with forever. Thank you, guys. We love you. Be safe. Thank you. Stay healthy. Bye-bye.